here's our culprit. Kind of gnarly. Uh, I've been looking at this tree for a while. It's got a huge cavity up by that spike knot right there. You can just see it. I'm on a steep, steep grade. Not only that, we got this. So I'm gonna see if I can send it off down there. I'm just gonna get you guys uh, on me. That's really all I can do here. Friends, good morning. We're, uh, wow, we've got uh, quite a bit of stuff on the go. Um, it's a snotty day out today. I hope you're doing good. Friends, there is people on the channel who are music people and they enjoy the drumming and the harmonica and stuff. And that is a big part of my life. It, it is. And I, I don't bring a lot of it to the channel because I know it's kind of a specialized thing. But I do lots of things. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm not a one dimensional man. I, I like to do all kinds of different things. And I know there's people that like the drumming. So today we've infiltrated a little bit of drumming, but I actually mix it today. So if you're seeing me cutting a tree and then all of a sudden I, I, I know some people don't like this, but, but some people do. So you can't please everybody. So we just do this once in a while. What I'll do is I'll show myself cutting a tree or run and saw, and then I'll flash to the drumming. They're quick intervals, friends. Yeah, skip them if you want, or just let them ride, because they're so fast. They're just quick um, intervals of this and that. Because this drumming session, I went in there one day, and I was just feeling hot to trot on the skins. And I like to share that with my drumming friends. So this is this video today. Uh, we bring out the old 1010 mat, cut a, a, a balsam down, a beetle uh, balsam. And this alder happens fairly quickly. It was Fern Gully. It was the last tree we needed to cut at Fern Gully. Friends, I love yous. Enjoy the video. See you on the next one. You know what to do. Oh, friends, one more thing as I'm making this video on a Thursday? Yeah. Um, thank you to all the folks that have traveled into buckandbillyray.com to get your t-shirts and stuff and your toques and your your patches and stickers and all the, the cups and stuff. Thank you all so much. That helps out a lot. And it's about the only thing I spattle off about on this channel is my website because it actually makes a difference to supporting the channel. And it helps us out a lot. Thank you all, friends.
instantly. Watch what I do. I put, it was leaning out. So I put my undercut in, I put my back cut in, and I just cut and don't stop. Potential for barber chair big time. Okay, hinge wood all the way across the stump. Right? Just nip that. I, I wasn't worried about that. This thing was leaving down a, down a bank. That's probably eight feet from, from the stump, top of the stump. So that was the plan. And it actually came out very nice. That's that. That saw's cutting really hungry. <laughs> It'll dice this, this up really good. I should probably go limit so it's laying flat, but they're probably not worried about it. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. talking to you about these beetles this balsam beetle you remember me telling you about them for the last two years people have been watching the channel well this is this is what we got and I want to show you what's going on here now check this out this tree is not dead yet look it's thin and it is it it is dead actually the I'll show you what I'm talking about This is spring, you see? See this? Unreal. This is what happens in the spring. Look at that. Just popping right off there. Look at the beetle. <laughs> Isn't that amazing, eh? You go through everything. Yeah, so we gotta get this guy out of here. Okay, let's try the old 1010, friends. Let's see if she's got the canaches to do this job here. Let's see how she does, friends. You guys.
you just feel like drumming. You're in a you're in a fairly good mood. I, I find that I find my drumming to be the most creative and the most flowing when I'm in a good mood, a positive, grateful mood. You, do you know what I mean? I, it's just how it goes. So friends, this is the, my famous, famous 1010 that I've had forever. It's a screamer. I've been running it a little fatter because I love it so much. And uh, over the past few runs, it's a screamer. It cut that four foot maple. Remember that crazy video of me cutting that four foot maple? Well, and the chain is not good on this. I'll just give it to you square right now. It's not. I just grabbed it out of the shop to take it with us today to get it out for a run. So here we go. Anyway, yeah, she runs good, but that couldn't have come out nicer, friends. See, there's that, there's that snag right there. We cracked it right. It had to be bang on, because there's that little fur I wanted to save out right there. So it actually had come out quite nice, didn't it? Yeah, good. Okay.
tell when you're running out of ideas. When it's over. Tin Man. Broken soft, coming your way. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I had this thing apart on the tailgate yesterday for a couple hours. I'm getting better at this stuff, friends. I am. So what I found out, and I'll tell you, and I'll show you on a video if you're interested, which I'm sure you are, we'll get this thing going. Um, this power saw, it has spark, but it won't run. Look at that. Do the research on that, that number, friends, and tell me how rare this saw is. Do it. See if you can find one on the internet. See if you can find a video on that power saw right there on YouTube. A Pioneer 1771. Let me know if you can find a video on that particular saw. <laughs> My First Nations buddy, James. James Wesley, if you're watching, brother, thank you so much for that. He called me and just drove up the driveway and dumped it down the other day for me. And it's missing a couple parts, major parts, actually. The glass ball that holds the fuel, it's gone. So I got to try and figure something out. Maybe I'll become a glass blower and I'll make one. Yeah, it goes right here. Chaclan, right there. And it's gone. See that? Completely gone. So I got to find something. I've got other ones all around, but they're just not the right size. You know, even this old guy right here. As a matter of fact, you see that guy right there? It's the wrong size. But, but that's what I'm looking for. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that a beautiful saw, friends? Gosh. Okay, friends. Thanks for watching. This is the part of the video where I say, hey, thanks for watching. Let's turn on some lights. Boom, lighten up your face. Turn your face to the light and say, thanks for watching. Be kind to one another. Work hard, be honest. And look for the positive in people. Look for the positive, and we'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for shopping in at the buckandbillyray.com. There were some orders came in today. We appreciate the heck out of you. All of you that have been into the shop, thank you. Catch you on the next video, friends. See you on the next one, and then the next one. Catch you on the next one. See you later.